please make sure to like this video and subscribe. A priest from Oscott College in England has spoken out on the gay subculture in a leading seminary there, making serious charges against the rector and stating that the bishops of England and Wales are lax on homosexuality. In an open letter to the bishops of England, Scotland and Wales, Father David Mardson, former formation tutor at St. Mary's Seminary at Oscott College, said he was terminated from his position for trying to uphold the Catholic tr Church's teaching on homosexuality and appeals to the bishops to clean up England seminaries for the sake of the faithful men trying to pursue a vocation to the priesthood. He said, I am writing to all of you with a petition to act and take the necessary steps to reform the three remaining seminaries in England. The Orthodox and heterosexual seminarians deserve a seminary free from a gay subculture and free from academic and formation staff who are homosexual themselves. St. Mary, Oscott and New Oscott, Birmingham, commonly known as Oscott College, is a Roman Catholic seminary in the Archdiocese of Birmingham in England and one of the church's three seminaries in England and Wales. Marsden cast his plea against the overall sexual abuse crisis that has rocked the church over the last several months, specifically calling out the cover-up and enabling, and he said there is still an absence of accountability for bishops. He said, this approach is clearly ignoring the church's teaching on this vital issue. Yet for some strange reason, bishops are still not being made accountable for disregarding this important instruction. While the teaching is clear, the practice in many dioceses is deeply compromised. Can I make a huge plea that something be done about this widespread abuse? Marsden said he praised the Holy Spirit is now purifying the church's hierarchy with the ongoing exposure of the evil acts committed by homosexual clergy around the world. And he believes it's his duty to inform the bishops and other Catholics that quote the homosexual collective within the hierarchy which enabled McCarrick to function in an unobstructed manner is still alive and well today in the Catholic Church in both England and Wales. Marsden condensed his observations after a year at the seminary into five points in an open letter to bishops covered in a church militant report. For the full story, please follow the link in the description below.